Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with another AI quick tip. And what we're going to do in this video here is we're going to take an image from Mid Journey, which is basically just these three faces, and that's pretty much it right here. We're going to drop it into Photoshop, and we're going to very quickly blow it up so it'd be something we could use maybe on the background of a website or something like that. That's what I was really thinking of this for, is just having it maybe as a parallax background on a website, or not even parallax, just having it be a full background. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go back over here into, into Mid Journey, and this is the Mid Journey site itself, midjourney.com slash imagine, and you click on my images, and you're going to be able to pull up all of your old images in here. And I wanted to show you this one here, because I'm going to shoot another video on this at some point, how I had this image here of this blonde gal uh, facing to the right with a uh, beige-ish colored sweater, peach, whatever, and white underneath it, and I said, okay, let's see if I can change this woman, and I I changed her into this woman up here so we kept everything else the same but I changed the clothes she was wearing changed her face changed the direction she's looking and changed her hair so we'll talk about that in another video in here let's go find the image that we are looking for which is this one in particular down here I made some variations of it right there so we can use any of those we like but let's just click on this and we can come over here and click on these three dots up here and we can open this in Discord, if we want, it'll open up a new window, and let's see where it brings us to. So it brings us here, and like I said, I got some up, up res uh, images in here. I do believe. Let's see what, which one we want to use here. Their eyes are all closed. Here, their eyes are open. So as I did variations on this, is uh, giving me different things there. But let's just say we want to take this one here. So if we want to download it, we just click on the little download button here. But I've already already done that so let's jump over into Photoshop and let's click on file and new once again and all we're going to do is we're going to take the preset on here we're going to click on create and then we're going to import an image and we're going to grab that image that we have of these uh, three gals here and we are going to click on the little checkbox up above there I don't know if that's necessary or not but that's the only way I know of making that thing disappear and then uh, let's do this let's uh, we can crop this uh, well actually that's what we want to do is crop it so what I first have to do here is let's make my screen smaller so we can see what we're doing and then we're also going to well let me see here let's just grab this corner if you grab the side you can do that too but it's going to go up and down and everything I don't want that I want it to stay right where it was so command Z will put me back to where I want and so now let's just increase the size of this thing and so we'll do that and now we're going to say we want our generative fill and we're going to generate and what it's going to do now is it's going to look at what was in the rest of this image here and it's going to draw out the rest of the page so it's going to give us a bunch of background um, of stars and whatever this Milky Way galaxy kind of thing is here and then what we're going to do Okay, so let's come into Photoshop, and we're going to just go over here. Oops, let me click out of here, and we're going to create a new one. So we're going to do File up here, and then we're going to go to New. So now let's come back into Photoshop. We're come here. We're going to click on New, and we're just going to say we want to create an image right there. And then we're going to... Why is this not giving me the ability to put in a new image? What is going on here? Come on. Okay, so let's come into Photoshop now. We're going to click on File and New, and we're... <clears throat> And we're going to create a new video, or a new image, and right now it is, why is this not giving me the ability? So now let's come into Photoshop, and we're going to come down here and click on New, and we're going to create a new file. It's going to ask me if I want to import an image, and we will say, yes, we do, and we will import that image right there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click on Done, and so now here we have our 
image. And now what we're going to do is we're going to pare this down a little bit so that we can see this a little bit better. We're going to come over here. We're going to click on our crop tool. And what we want to do is just make this thing a lot bigger. So we're going to just come and blow this up in size like this. And we'll just take up most all the screen. There we go. And now it wants to do our generative fill for us. So let's click right here and we'll click on generate and see what it gets for us. And for some crazy reason, it put all this in here, which is fine because now it gives us an opportunity to be able to remove that. So let us come up here. We're going to collect, uh, click on this rectangular selector tool, and let's just make ourselves a rectangular selection around this. Man, what's going on here? All right, well, we're just going to come down to about right here because it just doesn't want me to go across the whole screen. And so what we're going to do is it's looking to... Oh, what is the hell is this thing doing? Okay, so let's jump into... Photoshop, we're going to go to File and New, and we're just going to take whatever preset it gives us right here. We're just going to create that. And then it should ask us if we want to import an image. We will do that. And we're going to grab the one of the three faces right there. And we're going to click on Done. And then what I want to do before we get started here, I want to crop this so that it fits better into the background frame. So let's just blow this up right here and let's bring this down there. And now we will click on generate and see what it gives us. Now, I think what it's going to do is it's going to generate behind the back of this gal over here, and I don't want that. So then we can go in there and take that out if we want. I'm just having so much trouble here. When I did the original version of this, it just basically gave me what I wanted, and now it's not giving me exactly what I wanted. But it, just, it did move her over, but it did extend it because you can see the original image over here. So what we can do is we can take that off, and we can take the bottom part off if we want. And so we'll just do that. And so we're still on our cropping tool. So let me see here. Let's uh, click into the image here and see what we get. So let's do this. We'll pull this up and we'll crop this back to that edge right there. And then we will bring this back in as well. And we'll just leave it right there like that. And actually this bottom came up some. So let's pull that back down. And it's still moving moving around on me, but let's just call that done, and we'll click on done right there. And now we still have the white at the top. I don't know if I need to remove that or not, but let's do it anyway. So let's click on this and let's pull this down to get that white off of there and see what it's doing is it's paring it down the whole thing, which I'm sure if I was holding down the shift key or something else, we could get rid of that. But now let's just take the entire background image here. Let's uh, click on that button right there. We'll take the entire background image and I was going to move it over, but it did not want to do that either. So I'm going to start this all over one more Okay, so now let's just jump into Photoshop. We're going to come up and we're going to say File and New. And we are going to just click on Create right here. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change our aspect ratio. And then why in the hell is this not asking me to input an image? Jesus. Okay, so now we'll just jump into Photoshop. We're going to go File and New. And we're going to say Create. And it should ask me to put in an image. And it is not asking me to put in an image. So what we'll do here to begin with is we're just going to say we want a ratio of 16, 9. So we have that. And then we're going to find our image and we're going to drag it and drop it into here. Okay, so here's the image in my download, so let's just grab it from there, and we will drop it in over here, and hopefully it'll let me do that. Unfucking believable What is going on here? Okay, so let's jump into Photoshop. We're going to go to File and New, and then we're going to say Create, and in this case here... Why in the mother fuck is it not asking me to put in an image? Okay. 
Okay, so let's go into Photoshop. We're going to go to File and New, and we're going to... No, that's not what we're going to do. Okay, so now we're... <laughs> Okay, so now we're going to go into Photoshop, and what we're going to do first, though, is we're going to come over here, we're going to find that image, we're going to right-click on it, and we're going to say, Open with Adobe Photoshop. So it's just going to open up the image for us, and then we're going to say here, we want an aspect ratio 16.9, which is what it should have already been, and so now we will click right there. So now we want to do the generative expand, and we get that because we have the uh, crop tool turned on. So let's do that, and we're just going to grab a hold of this corner so it should open it up the same and keep that same 16-9 aspect ratio and now it's going to open it up and we aren't going to give it any commands at this point here we're just going to let it generate and what it should do is take this starry background here and fill it out onto the rest of the page now normally at this point what you see people do is say okay well let's put something into the image they always use like an example of a boat or something uh, so let's just do this let's take our tool here and we're just going to make a square nope whoops grab the wrong tool let me hit command z and undo that and let's undo that again and undo that again and we will go up here to edit and click undo there and undo there again and hopefully this will get me my image back and it may not Okay, so now we're going to go into Photoshop, and instead of opening up a new file, all we're going to do is we're going to go over to our um, our downloads right here, and we're going to right-click on this, and we're going to say Open with Adobe Photoshop, and here is our image, and now we're going to click on our aspect ratio, 16.9, which is what it should have been, but that's definitely what we want it to be, because again, we want this to fit onto a web page, and you normally make your background images then 16.9, and so now what we want to do is we want to expand this. So we're going to pull this out like this, and as long as we're pulling on the corner, it should keep the aspect ratio. And then we're going to say we want to generate the background starry sky around here, and we'll give it a minute to do that. And here's one of the versions that came up with. I'm not too excited about that. It's way too much. This one here is actually much better and much closer to what I wanted the final image to be. And then let's see this one here. Okay, so this one here, um, we could play with this because what I want to eventually do is to take some of this out and actually put a different kind of a nebula in there. But this image here is kind of getting there. It's just not quite as colorful as what I might like. So let's just stick with this one. We could regenerate it. If none of them were good. Now, what a lot of people will show you then is, okay, we're going to do a generative fill now, and they'll put like a boat or something in in the page. And so let's just do that right now. Let's just make uh, make something up here, and then when it says generative fill, let's just say we want to put in a smiley face. I think that's how you smell 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 or spell smiley. And so we'll just put a smiley face in here. And uh, we encounter an issue with your prompt. Please view our guidelines regarding putting in smiley faces. Really? That's interesting. Um, let me see. Uh, let's just put in a dog. So we'll just put a dog in there. Hopefully uh, dogs are not banned from AI. We'll find out. That is one poor looking dog there. Um, but you get the idea. You can just uh, put something into a picture. Okay, well, that one there doesn't look too bad. So let's just hit uh, Command Z and let's get that poor little dog out of there. But what I want to do is come in here and make a much bigger swath over here. And in fact, I'm going to use the lasso tool because I want to come right down in front of this face right here. And I want to come around and I pretty much want to change out this whole area here. And all I'm going to do then is put in the word nebula. We'll put that in there and then we will click on generate and let's see what we come up with. Okay, that's pretty interesting. Might be a little bit too busy and a little bit up too high for um, for something we might want to do on a web page. Let's see what else we got here. Again, that might be a little too much and the same there. So now what I want to see is if we can capture this whole bit here and then move it down. So let me pause for a second. 
Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lasso tool again, and we're just going to grab a hold of, oops, let me do this here. So we're going to grab a hold of this bit here, and we'll come back around up here like that. And now I want to click on this, and then we're going to move this whole thing down. Okay, it's letting me do that. So let's move it down into the corner here. And then let's click on our generative fill. We won't put anything in and we will click on generate. Let's see what that does. Let's see if it redefines everything. Now, the unfortunate problem, I just realized I just cut off the front of this woman's face right here. So that's not necessarily good. We'll see what happened. And it did not do what I want. Oh, it did re regenerate this part here. That's very interesting. So let's click Command Z. Command Z is your favorite friend in the whole wide world to do stuff like this. So we'll take that back. And then the question becomes, is as I'm seeing here, I wonder if I can move that line. Okay, I did what I did before, and I just moved the whole thing down. But you can see there's a line right here, which is actually outside of where I put my lasso. But now if we just do the regenerative, it's going to just do this area here. So what I want to do, let's just try this to see how crazy this is. We're going to do the rectangle tool over the entire thing. And then... Let's see what it does. We'll go generative fill. My concern is it's going to wipe out these gals over here. So let's generate this and see what happens. And that was not even close to the result I wanted. Let's see what my variations are here. That's pretty crazy. Cloudy sky. So uh, let's uh, hit pause here for a second. So what I went back in and did is I just uh, kept hitting Command Z until I got back to the part where I just had done the generative expand. So I'm going to just try one more thing here as long as we're just kind of playing around. And I'm going to make that area over here much smaller. I'm going to just, uh, well, let's even take out like just this part here. And let's... Uh, do that we'll put in our generative fill and we will say then a nebula right there and we will generate that and let's see what we come up with and so here is the result let me turn it off so i can show you the original so that there is definitely more subtle and then we got that and then, I don't know if i really like that too much or even that so um there we go. It's just one of those things you got to kind of play around with. Let's go back to see what the original I had in here looked like. And let's see what the other variations were on this one as well. And give it a second. See that one there is just way too big. And same thing with this here but I had cropped out a much larger area so actually of the ones that I've created that one is probably the best looking so far and again you'd have to unless you want something really subtle then you either do this or you just don't even mess with it at all just leave what it generated the first time and there you go now, the whole purpose for this video is to show you how easy this can be done, even though I messed up a bunch of stuff, how easy it can be done inside of Photoshop. Uh, but if you do the exact same thing inside of Discord, let me find where I had that image in here. It wasn't there. It must have been over here. Here's this image right here. So uh, let's take one of the up upscaled versions of it okay i guess that one's right here actually i can't do that i need to find the original so what we want to do here is upscale three so we'll go to three and it's not easy to do this inside of mid-journey to just be able to uh make something bigger like that you can't say okay well let's change the size of the image at least not that i know of and i have not been able to do it so all you can really do in here is what they refer to as a pan so we can pan on this now we could zoom out but if we do that then these faces are going to be more in the center of the screen so we want to do a pan and so in this case here we're going to do a pan right and what it'll do is it will extend the image over here to the right a little bit after we click on submit it, and then you can also do a pan up so let me just do a couple versions of that and then I'll show you the results 
Okay, so here's the result of just doing one pan right, and we'll get this to open up uh, full on the page here. You're going to see with this version down here, it started to put a face over here. Well, we don't want a face, but the nice thing here is you got three different versions you can choose from to begin with, and so let's just say we want this most simple one right here, so that was number two, so we're going to upscale then number two, and in this case here, let's say we're going to pan up this time. So we will do that, we will submit that, and then I will run it a couple more times to see what it looks like. Okay, like everything in mid-journey, sometimes it gives you very unexpected uh, results. So this is what we got here. It uh, decided that it needed all this nonsense up here which is obviously not what we're looking for it's it's very interesting but it's definitely not what we're looking for so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pause this and see if i can uh, fix that problem Okay, as it finishes up rendering, let's take a look at some of the images it gave me here. And so we saw here, here's like the original, and then as soon as we started to go up, uh, to pan up, it gave us this with these other images above it here. So it didn't like that. It doesn't want to just fill in the sky like you would get in Photoshop. But then <clears throat> I got this interesting one here where... Uh, we had another gal's face over here pointing back that way, and I thought, okay, well, let's uh, upscale that, and then let's go to the right some more. I also did the same with one of the images that did not have a face on there, and so it's just going to keep giving us more to the right. But then we uh, started getting this, where this one here is starting to form a secondary face. And so I was like, okay, well, let's grab a hold of that one here. We're still just going out to the right, and now it's just kind of... Of kind of given up and it's not giving us this nebula or whatever this is anymore just giving us stars and so but then I said okay well we got this one here we got that face so let's upscale that and and oh the one up here then I just said okay now let's go up pan up and again we're getting faces above here I mean these are interesting pictures uh, depending on what you're doing you could use them somewhere but then, so I said, okay, let's just keep going over to the right, and let's see if the final result here, if we got three faces, that's what I was basically looking for. And no, it does not want to gen generate for me a third face. Now, if we kept going back in and regenerating and regenerating, maybe eventually it would give us another face here, and that would be pretty cool to have the three of them looking at each other. And this is definitely the girl over here with her hair on fire, and these are like the little little girls who are all serene and, and happy with themselves. So uh, it's just an interesting thing here where again, combining these two tools together is really the solution that I've come up with because you can do all kinds of stuff over here, but this, as far as cleaning up images, it seems like Photoshop is a lot easier way to go to be able to clean up images and be able to do stuff. And I, we talked about that a lot in a previous video. So that's it for today.